How do you design a simulation or a game to be customizable by the end user? That's what I'm going to show you here. What you're looking at on screen is GoVenture CEO. This is the most customizable business simulation in the world. I'm going to show you how we make it that way. All right. So when I say customizable, I mean it's a business simulation and you run a business. This particular one is head-to-head -head multiplayer, so you're competing against other people in your class or your uh, company. And you can customize various aspects of it. And we work with clients, for example, we work with Procter & Gamble, where we customize the simulation so that you're selling Gillette razors. And another customization where you're selling Tide laundry uh, detergent. We work with a university MBA program where their MBA program is very focused on the wine industry. So we created a wine distribution simulation. We have somebody who loves... Uh, uh, Tesla, so we created a Tesla simulation. We have a, a, a customer, an instructor who used to be a pilot, so we created an airline simulation. How is this possible with one product? Let me show you how we designed this. So, so the first thing you have to do when you're designing a simulation, I'm going to keep this short here, is you just design the experience, right? So what is it that you're, you want the players to do in the experience? So in this one, you're, you're uh, senior management of a company, and you're given a budget each period, and you allocate that budget to different areas of your business. So as I click through, you'll see um, I have a screen, for example, that shows me my budget. I have decisions I can make related to ethics. I can document some of my decisions in a strategy journal. Um, that's not as important for customization. Here we go. We have products, right? So what is the product you're going to sell? Uh, the price you're going to set your products? How many you're going to manufacture? We have research and development, so how you're going to differentiate your product in the marketplace. So you saw a moment ago I had cars. So how, I'm going to, how am I going to make my cars different than other players who are competing against me? And they're making cars as well. So how are we going to make our cars different? So you can see here we can do gas mileage and having cars with great gas mileage or great reliability or great safety or a type of car like compact car, electric cars, and so on. And every business that's competing can't be the best at everything, right? Just like in the world, you can't have the product that's the best at everything. So you generally have to um, focus and specialize, right? That's why we have, you know, luxury cars in the real world, which are great at luxury. But then you also have sports cars, which are great at going fast and looking really sporty. So we model that same behavior in the simulation. We also have things like marketing. So we have different markets, different territories, and uh, different um, currencies in the different territories. So how do we build this for customization? So you start by defining the experience, as I'm showing you here, different screens, different decisions that the players are making. And then as designers, we identify what aspects of these decisions can be customized behind the scenes. So in terms of our algorithms that determine sales and all the other things that we, all the other metrics that we have to affect, what can be customized? So let's take a look at that. What would, what would an end user, like a university professor, high school teacher, corporate trainer, want to customize in an experience like this? Well, we know they want to customize the product, right? The industry, the product. You know, Tide wants laundry detergent or razors. Um, somebody else wants wine. Somebody else wants automobiles. So we know they want to customize the product, which potentially affects uh, maybe a, a discount, whether it's called a dealer discount or a reseller discount. So we might want to allow customization of this discount and the name of it too, right? So a car might be a dealer discount. If you're selling soft drinks into a store, that would be a reseller discount. And so uh, we want to allow the terminology to be customized, the product to be customized. Maybe even the selling price range could be customized. The R&D. So if you're choosing a different product, let's say it's a soft drink, you might have uh, R&D options like taste and health. So you can improve the tastiness of the soft drink or the health benefits of the soft drink um, or the ingredients and or the organic nature of the soft drink or the natural nature of the soft drink. So these options we want to customize as well, these R&D options. The, the market, do we want to sell into a country, a state, a province, a city, a region, multiple continents? the size of each market, the currency and the currency exchange rate in each market. These are things we would want to customize. So how do we do it? So what we did is we built an interface that allows customization. So our, our customers, which might be instructors or corporate trainers, they could 
choose a simulation. We, well, so I should clarify, we create what we call quick start simulations, so dozens of ready to play simulations which can be customized or you can start fresh and build your own. So we have all of the modules identified, these green modules that you see here. So for example, I can click on currency and I can see that this simulation is in euros. Well, I can just type dollars here and put the dollar symbol here instead of the euro symbol, save this and if I save that, my simulation will now be in dollars. It's as simple as that. Simple for the end user, not so simple for us as designers and programmers to create, but that's how we would allow you to customize the currency. Let's go to product. So product, we could give you, allow you to choose the name of the product and then also choose a graphic for the product. So you could have motorcycles, Oh, you can see we have actually pamper diapers there, bananas, anything you can think of. We provide imagery for the product that you may want to sell. So now the product is customized. What about, uh, let's go to sales and marketing. Let's cancel that. Let's go to sales and marketing. And we can see that sales and marketing can be turned off. So that's the other thing we can customize is individual business modules turned on or off. So if if you don't want your learners to worry about HR, you can turn off HR. If you don't want them to worry about marketing, you could turn off marketing. But let's take a look at market size. So I can see there's three territories and they're named Central, South and East. But I could rename those territories. Now this simulation is always already running, so I can't change it in this running simulation. But if I was designing it at the beginning, I could rename these, simulation, these uh, territories. And you notice here, we also have different maps. So we could actually change the map based on whatever your preference is on the territory or region or city that you want to allow your students to play in. And then at the further, as we go down, we can actually set the size of the market simply by entering numbers to adjust the market size, similar to how we change the currency or other uh, variables. If you want to go even more granularly, we can go into the consumer profiles. So the consumers are simulated consumers that make purchase decisions in the simulation. And here we actually have their psychographics. This is how the, their mindset they use to make decisions and compare products. So in this simulation, it's based on price or brand, mileage, safety, because it's a car automotive simulation. And we have a percentage of concern that each customer puts on price, brand, mileage, safety, reliability type of car and you know whether they'll consider other types of uh, options. And so you can actually adjust the psychographics of the consumers in the market. And our code pulls the data from here to determine how the algorithms are gonna respond. So that is a quick summary of how we can build and how you can build, if you're in this business, how you can build a customizable business simulation or game. I'm Matthew Giorgio. Business XP is the fastest and most inspiring training ever invented for future business leaders and entrepreneurs. Discover game-based experiential learning at business-xp.com.